Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're the Octobers. This is House of the Dragon, the Red Dragon, and the Gold. In our last episode, Rhaenyra was trying to speak some sense into Allison. Essentially, man, she said it is what it is. War is inevitable. So the story continues, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Head over to the subscribe button, do the thing over there. Ring it, ding it, ching it, whatever <laughs> y'all want to do. And uh, let's go. Your car is it. Yeah, your car is that thing. Burn it up, grill it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I'm nervous. What? Do we know this? Yeah. I think that was do. on the last one, right? I think so. So far, so good. <laughs> the conciliator. The conciliator? Yeah. Thank you. Look, man, I was in La La Land. I was thinking about Game of Thrones. No, it was his... Ja Harris's nickname. Thank you. They said it, I think, in the last episode. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Everything was the same, wasn't it? I think so, because it was bloody to the... Let's go. I'm ready to advance this story, baby. King Damon. What if? What if this man becomes king? Um, that would be crazy. He's in the throne room? You hear them ghosts in his ear? What? I can't understand. Oh, baby Rhaenyra. Speak plainly. Stop. Stop. Whoa, is this a subconscious? <gasps> Whoa! Dude! How are you just gonna do that? Watch your neck when Damon's around. What? <gasps> That's like a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you got blood all over my Gucci Mario sweater. <laughs> I don't remember when he yeah. cuts red off. Slept well, I trust. As I said, there's been a raven. Oh, it was him. Aegon's army departed King's Landing a fortnight ago. The castles of Rosby and Stokeworth have both fallen without siege. That's the one Bronn almost got, right? Stokeworth? And added their levies to Sir Christian Cole's host. Both houses cited that. Sad business with the usurper's son in their declarations. Sir Criston's army, now tripled in strength, might have Harren Hall as his destination. Ooh, what he, the heck? They're raise coming. Up post of Rivermen. It will not be ready in time to face him. Oh, that's a demon right there. I Black know, goat. right? You got some demon lore right there. Let's see what your Lord Paramount is made of. My, 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 my prince, uh, my, my grace, your grace. Lord Grover is looking more hale and healthy than I expected. Uh, this is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is <laughs> heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount River Run. in the Riverlands. Fish. His Grace, the King Consort Daemon Targaryen. It is an honor, Your Grace. Indeed. Sadly, he remains incapacitated. He lies in a kind of waking sleep, unable to do much more than take meager drink. It is barely enough to sustain him. So he's alive? Yes. Gods be good. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. Oh. Dang, Damon. I, I love my grandsire. Like a father. My own lord father died suddenly. Himself a young man. Lord Grover raised me in his stead. All very touching. Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? While he still lives? That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. Dang, Damon. <laughs> I can see why the Blackwoods and the Brackens did not fear to start a war beneath the nose of their liege lords. House Tully is a fish with no head. Remind me which of your uh, countrymen claimed to fight in the name of Egon. Was it, was it Bracken or Blackwood? House Bracken that declared green, Your Grace. Who could remember? Summon the Blackwoods here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. Aww. So are they having a hard time recruiting because of what Damon did or something? It seems as if. Because he's going after the Tullys and they just keep making the Tullys look so dumb, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they did in Game of Thrones. Generationally. <laughs> yeah. Or they just give them like weenie leaders. Leaders, exactly. <laughs> hey, the queen who never was. Who did she is? Queen who never was. 
Milady. I would think people would be staring at her more, right? Oh, he said Milady like the poor way. Princess, Thank for holding to formalities. Apologies, Princess. And you are Alan? Yes, Princess. I am given to understand my lord husband owes you his life. But I was not told his saviour was so comely. Your mother must have been very beautiful. Very nice. <clears throat> Is your work finished? No, my lord. Oh, dude, I'm dumb. I thought she was, like, calling him cute or something, but I think she's trying to imply that, like, yeah okay. do you get what i'm saying like he's oh, a bastard yeah did you get that vibe i was getting the vibe because the way they like walked up and they like tried to make him kind of look alike you yeah. know what i'm saying but i, I don't know I for even. certain i mean i guess the man's been at sea a long time uh that was kind of wild i didn't even i don't know how old that guy is though you know right i could be way off but he seems like younger because he's like my lord my lady i just had a word with your captains he was the sailor who plucked you from your watery grave yes you did not think to mention it. I did not think it relevant. I know who he is, Corliss. Ooh. Alan's past is no fault of his. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. Is this why you came? To subject me to an inquisition? <laughs> I came to tell you that Baylor has called me to Dragonstone. Baylor? That counselor's going to dine on her and Jace for supper. They grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Still, where has that woman gone? I suspect to try and draw us all back from the abyss. Ooh. So did you get bastard vibes? Because maybe. It didn't really say, did it? No. Oh, here goes that dragon, like, from season, season one. one. Oh. oh, it broke again. Just like season one. She's on edge, ain't she? Good morrow, Grand Maester. As requested. I brewed it myself. Thank you. I will see it delivered discreetly. Do report if the recipient has need of any remedy. The tea is known to disagree with the gut. I shall observe the girl closely. Hang on again on the loose. Grand Maester, you've ever been a practical man, an honorable servant to the crown, and you served my lord husband in his darkest hours. Such was my duty, your grace. Tell me, do you believe Viserys wanted Egon to succeed him? No, you. <laughs> I could not know. A great non answer. Never raised the matter with me. <laughs> That's a fair enough answer, though. He's like above my pay grade. <laughs> Don't get me involved. Mm. Oh, she's about to drink it, probably. Oh, yeah. Look at her with the plan B T boy. Doesn't Allison just gross you out? Like, why is she doing this? So Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree cover to conceal its movements. He now only travels by night to confound our dragons. And what is Cole's heading? It is difficult to say, but there were signs of an army moving northwest, I believe. We got to hunt them down. You had the chance. <laughs> Perhaps you mm -hmm. can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. Oh, the only reason we know any of this is because of Baylor's efforts. What do we know, my prince? If you ask me, it is little and less. We know that Cole possesses a host that is growing in strength and that it is a problem. Can Damon hope to meet it with his own in time? And if I know the Riverlands, he has more disentangling ahead of him than the end of a Lycini orgy. Have you had word from your father? No. The Ravens were sent to Harrenhal, seeking news of Damon's progress with the Riverlords. None have as yet returned. Just so. An enemy host growing in constitution marches somewhere in the vastness of the crown land. We could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own or someone here to lead us. Mind your tongue, Sir Alfred. Does it speak falsely, my prince? This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, princess? The queen did not name you hand. She's it is her it. voice and that of the King Consort that we need to raise alliances and command our vassals, but they are gone. What has come of this council? Oh, the sea snake. My lord. Our enemy is on the march. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the queen but to grouse and claw for power? Babe, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to be annoying, but if he said to her, why should I listen to you? Why is he listening to Corliss? Who? That guy, he just completely shut up when Corliss walked in, but when Renice is talking, he's interrupting her. And he basically challenged her position. Because he's a guy. Is that all it is? 
I mean, that's got to be all it is, right? I mean, that's the the way he demanded that room and walked in, and they were like, "Yeah." Okay, so he just doesn't respect her because she's a queen. Yeah, we must trust that she seeks the same as each of us, which is unique for Rhaenyra, right? That does seem contradictory of him. An end to this conflict. I wish I knew those people. Men of House Darkland. Darkland. All who bend the knee to the true king Aegon will be spared. <clears throat> I figured there'd be some Aegon supporters, you can huh? You back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the war of Dragonstone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All who refuse. Oh, that's Kristen? Yeah. <laughs> will have their death. Oh, Kristen. I was trying to be like Ned Stark. Good morrow, Lord Doctor. Is there no honor left in this world, Cole? Sacking your queen's own castles and putting up people to the sword? Kingmaker. Ooh, got him. <laughs> You're not fit for the White Cloak. I agree. This is a better death than a traitor deserves. You should thank me for it. Man, how are you going to call Yours him a traitor, will though? Come in kind. Yeah, hopefully. Ugh. Uh. Not a bad swing, though. They said, all right. I wish I knew what that said. We'll leave the van northeast. Follow the coastline. I realize you were neither born nor bred anywhere near the Crown Lands, my good Lord Han. But Harren Hall is to the west. Is he talking junk? It is. Maybe he switched up the plans. I told you we should have sent our dragons. And now look what's happened. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just It wasn't hard there. to take. It's your <laughs> castle! Well, that castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. Playing out the cripple Such card. Such mm -hmm. to madness as he attempts to make use of it. It is beyond his faculties. The haunted house, Loki. <laughs> it's also penniless, as I happily control all of its gold. Oh. As Harrenhal saps Damon's resolve, the false queen remains trapped on her island, and Sir Criston continues felling castles in the Crownlands. I need to be informed of these things. If I am to make informed rulings, I will not be made to look a fool in front of my allies and enemies. Harrenhal must wait. Okay, whatever. Sir Criston is marching on Rook's Rest. Rook's Rest? A pathetic prize. I gave no such the command. Is small. Oh, he doesn't even know. So he gave the command, probably. He defended, and Lord Staunton sits Aemon. on the nearest council. He studies philosophy After and history. Cole smashes it, we'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. This war will not be won with dragons alone, but with dragons flying behind armies of men. No. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. Cole Trevor Lawrence came preparing. in with the audible, didn't he? <laughs> He's like, alright, alright. <laughs> how, how do you know this? He sent word to me. To you? Oh. The two of you have been plotting without my authority. Treason. <clears throat> Just say Dracarys, that will work. Luke Coston Vivilus Segiton. I can have to make a war. <laughs> so he's straight up just making him look like a fool, huh? Yeah. He's speaking like High Valyrian, making him look like a silly willy. Harrenhal is a useful morass. It will keep Damon well occupied while we strengthen our host and weaken Rhaenyra's support on the mainland. We will deal with it in the Riverlands in time. But right now, Rook's Rest is an easy target. A worthy effort. Don't you agree? Ooh. Wow. So they're about to have a, a fissure. An internal strike. A fissure in the green camp. Crazy. Come. It's cooking some rocks. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Lord Laris. Who's breathing so hard? I thought I'd look in on you, Your Grace, after your absence from the Oh, yeah, her council. stomach hurts. <laughs> I feared something was amiss. You're kind to do so, my lord, but indulgence was my sin. I ventured into the lamprey pie at last night's supper. Too far, I fear. Oh, the drink was just sitting on the table? Hmm. That is a rich indulgence. Man, he is way too observant. That but I believe it's a me. sin to deny your appetites. It will make us fully alive as mortal men. 
We have a black man on him too, though. Discuss the council. Damon having seized Harren Hall and his grace's resulting displeasure. I would have thought you would be the most aggrieved, my lord. See it as a loss for our greater good. Dragonstone's attentions are greatly divided, first in the Riverlands and the Gullet, and now the Crownlands. Sir Criston wins every challenge he faces there. That truth alone is like to incite Rhaenyra's fury. He's covered himself in glory, to be sure. And you must worry for him. Sworn sword on the march. Never exposed to dragons, it is a perilous road. Sir so Criston is the hand of the king. We should all pray for his victory and safe return. Indeed. <clears throat> if I may be so bold, my queen. Uh-oh. You have not seemed yourself of life. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive and the realm was at peace. Now I've barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret if I have not been myself. So no one knows Rhaenyra was there, do they? Mm -mm. That's crazy, I right? I know you shared your lord husband's love for the histories. If not his love, then certainly an abiding interest. The voices of history guided Viserys. He knew that his wisdom alone could only reach so far. Do you think that is why he changed his mind? In the end, no matter how suited he thought Rhaenyra for the crown, the uh, voices of history, as you say, would have told him how the realm would react to her succession. It's impossible to know what steered his thoughts in those final hours. Do you now doubt his intentions? Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. Rhaenyra's so supporters. The war will be fought, many will die, and the victor will eventually ascend the throne. The significance of Viserys' intentions died with him. Wow. Yes, it did. The scene said a lot, didn't it? It sure did. Viserys' goal was peace, right? Mm -hmm. So she's basically saying his intentions died with him. Yep, can't have him. But they basically said he's in a haunted house and he'll be distracted. <laughs> That's basically. what they said. <laughs> That's what I was like when I was a kid. And I was scared of my closet. <laughs> but I'd jump up bucking at it. I'd have to go to the bathroom. I'd sit there for about 20 minutes, getting the courage. <laughs> Was that Amon? Amon. Sorry. You know how he walks very upright? <laughs> Whoa. Damon? <laughs> Much late to be stalking about a strange castle, putting its people to the sword. You. She's weird. I'm called Alice. Strong. Rivers. Bastard. Once you get to know me, you'll find I'm not so bad. She's from the. So what are you then? Some kind of mace. Riverlands. No manner speaking. I inherited the duties after the last one fled in the night. Fled? Why? Just never settled in. How are you settling in? I've come to know the face of tortured rest well enough. It can be thin in this place. What would you know about sleep? Harren Hall's been cursed since its first stone was laid. Black Haddon fell the grove of weirwood trees that grew on these lands. The heart trees imbued with the spirits of those who lived long before he came. It's said their whispers can still be heard sometimes. A midwife's tale. The very bed you sleep in was made from such a heart tree. Have you experienced anything? Of note? You are a strange kind of woman. <laughs> I'm no woman at all. I'm a barn owl, cursed to live in human form. What? <laughs> oh, you come here after quarreling with your wife. What? You arrive here alone, claim the castle, and yet send no ravens. Do you now plan to make your own claim? Perhaps to prove yourself to Do not try me with your insolence. It's a hard thing, I imagine, to give obeisance to one who replaced you as heir. And a woman, too. A Get old child, you bounced on your knee. Is that what in the world he's having all these visions about? Because he feels guilty? You, the right. Legitimacy is contested as you stand here with a castle and a dragon, attempting to draw an army of men. Here, drink this. Mm -mm. You'll need your sleep if you're to win this place to your side. I'll go back to my bedroom and drink that water we can in. <laughs> Let's go. Or bring that cup to collect it. Ninja caught. Brackens, our venal cravens. And they must pay for their treachery against the laws of gods and men. And against the crown. Who are you? <laughs> Sir William Blackwood of House Blackwood, your grace. As I said. Well met. What might I do for you? It was 
you who summoned me, Your Grace. I was given to understand that you wanted an army. Well, who doesn't these days? The Blackwood certainly never miss a chance to bloody your swords, do you? Some twenty years ago, my lord bent the knee to King Viserys and acknowledged the Princess Rhaenyra as his rightful heir. So you fight for this old oath? Not, of course, for your thousand-year-old feud with the Brackens. I once vied for Queen Rhaenyra's hand before she wed Selena. Oh, he grew up. I was like to a spirit. Oh, is that that kid? She I think so. The dragon. Because he said he vowed for her hand, right? Without the leave of your lord. <laughs> oh no. Lena. So this must be Damon's conscious for real. Mm-hmm. And is she pregnant too? Oh. Your grace. And once you and your dragon bring the queen's justice to the Brackens, our armies will be yours. Our lords in the crown lands. <laughs> they the herds of livestock struggle to keep pace with the dragon's relentless appetites, Vagars in particular. They can either provide the crown what it needs, or we can claim their holdings. And that would be a relief, as we have no more coin to lend the effort. Resources are certainly growing no more plentiful in the face of the blockade. The demand of the blacksmiths, armourers and towns for equipment has only grown a pace since <laughs> Tristan's army. Well, Cole's done splendidly at the least, turning every castle and army he's faced, including Duskendale, God's blessing. Kingmaker they're calling him and with Aemon and Vega that's an insult already, we are a formidable opponent you bore me you all bore me he's so petulant <laughs> okay perhaps uh, Kristen will be able to procure more livestock through his campaign well, any coin we can say will be a welcome bounty they just keep talking they right. just were like whatever about they're that. just used to his antics they're the ones running things Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Wasn't she snooping? Your father's books. I ordered them removed. With no thought to the centuries of knowledge in those pages. <laughs> I removed them. I didn't burn them. What is it? They don't care what I think. Who are gone? My counsel. Cole, Aymond, they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. What thoughts would you have? I'm the king. Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? <laughs> Those men at your council table earned their seats. It's my hope that <laughs> once enthroned, you would honor the burden of your new duties, be silent, and strive to learn from the more studied minds around you. Not at all. <laughs> In the hope that you they might bore be him. the king <laughs> your father was. Tread carefully. Or what? You'll hang me as you did your rat catchers, or have me banished as you did your hand. I ruled. In your father's absence throughout his long illness and Otto Hightower was as cunning a statesman as ever lived, you should humbly be seeking our opinions and counsel. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Oof. The lies they tell themselves. Mm -hmm. What would you have me do, Mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Nothing. Get out the way, let the adults have the conversations. Right. And you just put on your crown and smile. Oh no, loggers. On your feet! To Rook's Rest! To battle! It's broad daylight. We must hold here and ready ourselves to lay siege at nightfall. We shall move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. Not expect it because it is fucking madness. <laughs> did you forget the little encounter we had on the road to Rosby? I did not. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. What? Grown tired of living, have you? You're afraid, sir. Worse. I'm rational. <laughs> we advance. So broad day, so That's the dragons dumb. can see yeah. him. That G Gwen. What's Chris drinking right now? I don't know. What did you almost call him? G Gwen. <laughs> it's Gwen, I think. But he's right. We need to send a dragon. Where? Report the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence, your grace. Cole's host has grown since riding abroad. He raised the levies of both Rosby and Stokeworth and, with their combined strength, sacked Duskendale. Duskendale? The city has fallen. Many Darkling men declared for Aegon. Those who refused were put to the sword. What of my father? He cast her off. Oh. Cole took his head for it. That was his sign? Oh no. Where have you been these last days? You vanished without so much as a word. 
I apologize for my absence and the secrecy, but such was necessary. I went to King's Landing. She still has the outfit on. <laughs> to what possible end? To meet Queen Alicent and sue for peace. You saw Alicent? Yes, I did. You could have been taken or slain. That's why she didn't tell you. I 80 years of peace from my father. Before I was to end it, I needed to know that there was no other path. Aww. I respect that. And now I do. Because she actually loved her dad and wants mm -hmm. to honor him. And Only one choice remains to me. The promise. Either I win my claim or die. Oof. You win or you die. We stand at the ready. Cole's victories have only emboldened him. He marches on Rook's Rest. His host was just hours away when Lord Staunton's ravens took wing. Why Rook's Rest? After Duskendale? It's but a small coastal keep. Because Lord Staunton is a member of this council. And because his castle is small and vulnerable and there for the taking. Cole knows we have no army on the mainland. He is brazen. He is daring us to act. We need to send a dragon. <sighs> I agree. <clears throat> but do you think that's what Eamon wants? Mistaken my caution for weakness. Eamon swooped me to take out a dragon. Undoing. Well, he sent Kristen I to do the go. order. My queen. You cannot. I will not loose dragons to war whilst I hide here in my castle. Our allies raise their banners for you, mother. Yes, they do. If you die, all is lost. Send me. <laughs> no. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the alarm. You lack the experience. You must send me, Your Grace. Oh mm. snap! Because her dragon knows how to fight. I'm no stranger to battle. I know she can do damage with a dragon. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I will meet Cole. Oof. Rainies, Rainies. Mm -hmm. you Gotta look out for Kristen Cole, though, Rainies. He's very persuasive. So, is this gonna be like our first potential battle? Potentially. Oh, because you know how we, we've been waiting on it, you know, like it's all going to come to a head. Don't do it. Oh, he's like a cat. Meow. <laughs> he's a gone boy. <laughs> I wish only to fight for you for your claim and mine. I think like I know my son. <laughs> I need to tell you just something. I should have told you when you first became heir to the throne. It's a secret. But Viserys told me when he named me his successor. Oh. And it has passed from king to heir. That's scary. That means she thinks she's going to die. Everyone conquerors time. What is he doing? I never told you because I was unsure that I believed it myself. The Targaryen who sits the Iron Throne is not just a king or a queen. They are a protector. Aww. Ordained to lead the Seven Kingdoms, to strengthen them, and to unite them against a common foe. This is crazy right now. I know. His energy is building. Viserys chose me to succeed him. He held to this the whole of his life. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. They're 14, 1500 strong at least, my lord. Oh no. But to unite the realm, I had to send the dragons to war. The horrors I have just loosed cannot be for a crown alone. That is why I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir, what Jaehaerys had told him, and what I will now tell you. Oh, that is stressful, Aegon. What are what you doing? It? Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. We got some Aegon was poetic, wasn't he? Yeah. Who's the green sheep? Oh, that's smart. Which one? Who is that? Is that Renice already? To the seven hells with you, Cole! Yeah, it must be. You may as well have sounded horns to announce our coming. Order the Darkland levies to break off and move ahead. We must keep the dragon's attention divided. Make the signal. What signal? All is going to plan. All is going to plan. Oh, 
I love her like headpiece. Yeah, she was tough, don't she? Yes. Go get him, Renice. Ain't for Kristen Cole. <laughs> the dinosaur. Uh oh. <gasps> it was their plan. Yeah, he's already seen what he can do. He's an idiot. I'm boss. Obey, they are. Obey. I said, all right. He's like Mushu, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> like, right, I'm taking that, man. man. <gasps> Aegon! Is that who he just called an idiot? Oh, wow. Or Aegon's fire. crazy. He can't beat Renice. And Dragon to Dragon combat, no shot. His grace, the king. And he's speaking English to it. <laughs> For the king himself to lay ambush and they have to die in the attempt. No. No small thing allows. Stalwart men of House Targaryen. Your king has oh, joined wow. you. Hold to your courage. Hold to your wits. For the seven have blessed and shielded this host with divine purpose. For the one true king, Egon. Oh shoot! So it was not planned for Aegon to be there. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, "Throw more signal arrows." Where are you, Aemon? Yeah, Aemon did see him. Said idiot, and is letting him go. So that's what it is. Okay. Oh wow! So, dude. You can't hurt a dragon with that. We done seen that. It don't work like that. Didn't Damon ride through it already? Right. He thought it was a little game. <gasps> was that Melise? Oh. oh, look at the smoke. Oh, 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 oh. I thought we... Whoa, the blood melts you. Did you see oh that? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh. Mm. I guess that's how you fight. You don't Dracarys, you attack. There's Vagar. See the Holy. holes in the wings? It's the sound for me. Whoa. I feel like the force of his wings would knock you over. I know, but I told you they have zero motion. Zero point energy dragons. Yep. Dang. I think Amon's so much cooler than Aegon. <gasps> oh. They're about to jump her. Thank Look at him. The gods. He said, Thank the gods. You got it. <gasps> That's his brother. What? What? He went straight Kane and Abel on. No. They're going to blame Kristen Cole now. Oh. That was crazy. Look at her. Look at her. She's like, oh my gosh. I go No. <gasps> That's a big dragon. And I think her dragon's big too, but like so not is, that big. Babe, is they going dead? I think so. I think he. I think he has to be Ooh, right. She's strapping in. Oh my gosh! This is so scary. I hope that dragon's got some airbags in it. Oh. Man, y'all, mm. y'all better, y'all better keep it moving. Let's go, my lease. Oh yeah, my lease is shifty. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. oh! Those people are like, them targets are crazy, boy. Man, I didn't know 
about to get the burn crispy cold. Crispy cold. Oh. oh, she's good. She's good. Oof. I was about to say. I was about to say. If that's the end of the episode, I'm going to be so mad. Because we have to wait a whole week, dude. I could not. We got Vagar. Oh, man. We got some big talons. And that's essentially like green people. Oh, you did that on purpose. Whew. You better go. You better go. I hate to say it, but you got to go. You got to fully you need to come back with more dragons. Look at her. She's so fierce. <gasps> they gave each other a look, huh? Gosh, that just scared the- Oh no! That's crazy. I literally can't stand this. Oh. This is like that movie, bro, where the dude rides the nuclear bomb down to the ground and it blows up. I've never seen that, but- Oh man. That Why? Was crazy. Ugh. Amon just leveled up, boy. He said I may have lost the eye, but I gained a dragon. Crazy. Oof. I was about to say that better not be it too. Just stay down there. <gasps> Oh my god. Where's Aegon though? Ooh. I was so caught up with the Renice thing. Is that his dragon? I thought that was Renice's dragon. It literally looks like like a nuclear bomb happened with all the like the king has fallen we must find him. Oh my, it literally That's does. just like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When people died so fast, only their shadows were left on the wall. Oh my gosh. It's just not good when dragons have to fight. Mm -mm. That's probably Aegon. Is it not? I have no idea. Whew. This feels like the Iron Throne episode, don't it? Dagger. Where is this grace? <gasps> Man, I'm not gonna miss him. Screw you, Aegon. Couldn't protect him, could you? I know, right? <laughs> All right, babe. House of the Dragon. Crazy, wasn't it, guys? So. I know that in the last episode, we essentially had our first battle of the war, but this was the first time we really got to see it. I think they did such a good job executing that mm -hmm. just in terms of the visuals. It was fun. It was explosive. It was intense. Yes, it was just such a well put together. And when you do a scene like that, man, you have so many like decisions to make on how you're going to portray it. And I just think that the way they really incorporated the dragons into the battle was incredible. Yeah, uh, we didn't really get to see it too much in Game of Thrones because the dragons essentially other than the one that the ice king raised from the dead they were all essentially on the same side so yeah. they worked in unison but to see them go to war with each other was epic it and was terrifying. crazy that's one thing about the show man i wasn't sure if i was gonna like all the dragons and stuff because it adds like a 
Game of Thrones had a it did a really good job making you forget you're in a fantasy show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It felt yeah the politics and all right. that and the realism and the complexity of the characters. But in this, the, I don't mind the dragons at all, man. I Me think either. they're fun. They add so much. They make it intense. Can you screw over just one inch? Yeah, they add so much like complexity to battles because they make a, a really big element of surprise. Right. You would you could get from armies, but like you know like the battles in Game of Thrones, the sword fight combat. But I think this kind of combat is unique because we're not familiar with it. Well, it's like the same old story. Like, you know, if there was no dragons, it would be who controls the biggest arsenals, who controls what yeah. weapons and stuff. And the dragons are essentially weapons. So yes. um, they're doing a great job incorporating them. Rhaenyra definitely just wants peace at this point. She she made it known to her son that she went down every avenue to try to make sure that she exhausted every possible solution uh, that would lead to peace. And she just realized there's no solution. So Bernice took it upon herself to go into battle and like it's just starting, man. So right. and that what, scene you brought with Rhaenyra though, what my favorite part is her verbiage of she inherited peace from her dad. Yeah, yeah. And I'm that sure. just shows that, you know, she respects that peace and she wants to keep it. And Aegon's like um prophecy actually means something to her. It right. actually matters. That's something he lived by. He didn't name Aegon because that like he pretty much raised Rhaenyra as the ruler. Like she was the cupbearer, she was in on every council. She sat in, she was important, and Aegon never got that. So you could see Aegon in the meeting. He was frustrated. He was bored, and he took it upon himself to be the conqueror. He was just very petulant. He was just, he used his position to basically entertain himself, you know, because he, he just wasn't mentally mature enough to stay focused on the task at hand and took his eye off the ball, and it cost him his life. But the craziest thing is that his brother killed him. That right. Was crazy. And, and like, I knew that was going to happen. You kind of look by that a little bit because you're just like, eh, he was fighting Renice. But no, he no, he straight up said right. Dracarys. He said Dracarys like in his, his face. Like, like, yeah, yeah. He was like, "Gods be good, my brother's here." And no, he killed him. Well, I think where he messed up was when Aemon sitting there publicly challenging you like that. You got to put a you got to put an end to that, man. I don't care if that's my brother or not. Uh, sitting there speaking Valerian to me like that, trying to embarrass me. But anyways, what what did you think about him as a king? If you had to say, okay, this was Aegon as a king, go ahead. I mean, I felt like kind of. He, wasn't, he was such a punk. Right? He was like basically everyone around him. They just wanted him to fall in line. Like they were doing all the works. Basically, he just needed to sit there and say yes. And he he didn't want to do that. Well, his inexperience, the, and like you hit the nail on the head, man. Uh, Renair is the one who sat in and all the small council meetings. She's the one who attended. She's the one who would like pick her dad's brain. He would mm-hmm. put the time into her because she's supposed to be the heir. And, you know, Aegon got none of that. So when it was his time to rule. In his mind, he, he just a saw a dragon. Right. As long as I got a dragon. And essentially, he might would have just won anyways without a dragon. Right. He might have been right, but we'll never know. Cause well, his, his mom said it best that you, when you get the crown, you just don't gain the knowledge or wisdom. Right. The crown doesn't come with that. We saw that with Cersei a lot in Game of Thrones yeah. with Tywin. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess he's never going to get the chance to learn to mature, man, because he is gone. So That's I'm, crazy. I'm so interested to see Who's how. Who's next? Because his heir died. Kristen Cole? I guess it's going to be Eamon. No, not Kristen Cole. Eamon. I thought hand serves when you don't have a successor. I'd be like, my brother, my my brother's dying screams as he was falling from the sky was, Eamon should replace me. <laughs> I mean, they'll just believe anything. They'll believe what they're told to believe. Right. Because, so I mean, Allison I'd... got away with it. Why can't he? Right. Allison's uh, gross. We're not even going to talk about her too much. She's just basically doing everything that she got mad at uh, Rhaenyra for doing. Rhaenyra anyway, and Kristen. Yeah, she just gets on her. She irks me. So I'm really ready to see her character get slapped up a little bit. Her sympathetic, poor me, poor me is it's gotten kind of old at this point. She gets on my nerves. Um, Damon was kinda, awesome in this. But on the other hand, like I kind of see where where she's at because she does. She never really had anyone to teach her anything. Nobody on that side had anyone teach them anything. So I get where they're coming from, but that doesn't make it right. Well, my whole thing is the minute that she wanted to sit there and try to pretend that Viserys' dying words was X, Y, and Z, and especially when Rhaenyra basically set the record straight, Mm -hmm. you could tell on her face she knew it was up. At that point, all of her sympathies, all her positions, they completely go out of the way because if your end goal isn't peace for the realm, then I can't really rock with you, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. Rhaenyra, at least, at the end of the day, just wants peace, you know? I know Mm -hmm. she's not a perfect, perfect person by any means, but... In terms of the green and black divide, it's getting easier to root for the blacks, you know. Um, they got their problems for sure. You know, they, they got some issues. But all in all, man, 
these little uh, Amon and Aegon brothers and the whole business they got going on. I'm just glad I don't have to deal with that. Because to be honest, if he was my brother, I'd have probably I'd have probably jacarsed him too. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, that's just tough, but I mean, I do feel like Amond is the better. He's like more in touch with the Valerians. He actually studies. He's kind of battle tested. He rides the biggest dragon. Maybe he just is due the title. I don't know. Well, he's a second son trying to make his way, right? Right. And he's ambitious, and that's the thing. I've been saying it from day one. He's highly ambitious. So yes, I, I, I wasn't shocked that he killed his brother. I didn't see it coming. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at the Where's same the time, propaganda on that going to go? Is he going to use that against like? You can just blame her niece. Right. And you know, but what about the eyesight? What about people who've seen it? He's got a dragon. Like, what are you talking about? Who who, <laughs> who dare who dares to speak against my narrative? Yeah, you'll come have to answer. My dragon said, "Are you calling my dragon a liar?" You know what I mean? Right. I think the next episode is going to be so interesting. Just the aftermath of all that. Right. That's what I'm saying. So right. Lord Corliss is about to be going oh, through it. Shoot. You know what I mean? You know, it was crazy. Renice, like, so we gathered that was like his bastard son. Renice knew it, too, and was like touching on his face and being like nice. Like, it was kind of weird. It was well, kind of a honoring, weird vibe. She was still honoring Lord Corliss, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was also sad because in hindsight, I realized when it was Aegon and Renice was sitting there, like having an intimate moment with their dragon yes. for the road off. And then Renice told the, her dragon, I forget her name. Sorry. Sorry. Maylise. Maylise. Uh, one last time. Basically, like we got one last rodeo. You know what I mean? Like and she knew. She just understands how dangerous and she knew her dragon was getting older, you know, and she's getting older and their house. They're numbered probably, right? Well, their the house is, is just growing weaker right it's growing weaker it's been growing weaker since the beginning of the series is right. you know the day they decided it's just growing weaker man so it's just really sad to see her gone uh lord Coros is probably gonna be pretty heartbroken about that hopefully he responds in a way that is hurtful to the greens yeah absolutely um oh yeah he will i i can't believe the when vagar was hiding in the bush in the trees though and like they were signaling for aemon i that was a really good strategic play but in my opinion by them because they carry, they drew in a dragon. I guess it didn't matter which one they drew in. They they just got one off the yeah. They got just yeah. got one off the other side, which was right. brilliant. But then they lost one on their own. But in terms, they didn't really lose anything because Aegon's kind of like a in the way. Kind well, the of. only reason they lost one is because Alicent was basically like, "Hey, this is what we need you to do, Aegon. Nothing. Just stay out of the way. Like you don't always have to do something. Sometimes you can just go chill. You know." Mm -hmm. And that stroked his ego, and that's what I've been saying the whole series. He's you know, he has a big ego, yeah. as he should. You know what I mean? I'm sure he, he always says he doesn't want to be mocked or he doesn't want to be laughed at. Mm -hmm. He made sure to always say that. Well, you know, but no one ever seemed interested in really guiding him, though. Yeah, nobody, nobody. But a lot of that's probably his own doing, though. And but when they did try to guide him, for example, Otto, he takes his hand of the king away. So, yeah, but Otto was. A grandfather, too. It's also yeah. your grandfather. I, I, I see. Well, Otto had a really sharp tongue. Otto. Yeah overestimated the power of his position Otto understands Otto understands that wisdom is basically like a weapon and it's something that you absolutely need mm -hmm. um Aegon on the other hand doesn't quite understand that and Otto didn't realize that Aegon didn't have any respect for that so he essentially overplayed his hand because he thought I can talk to you however I want because what I'm saying is still true and on some level like you're gonna have to respect that mm -hmm. but he just didn't care he's right. like no nah, screw you dude you're just not gonna talk to me like that so a, probably a big mistake. It ended up costing him his life, essentially. But then again, it kind of seemed like, I don't know what it seemed like. Like, why did he even know. do all that? Do you know what I mean? I mean, he just, it just seemed like he was drunk. And <laughs> it just seemed like he really believed that, hey, with a dragon, I can just go finish something. But he, it just showed how unrealistic Aegon is. Because right, yeah. you're the king. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're the king. You don't just go right off into God knows what. You're literally being told to just chill. I know that's boring to sit in those meetings. But like keep playing with that ball a little more like stop going to do rash things like that and because of that i guess it showed you can't just go do impulsive things in this world it's gonna you're, it's gonna bite you right in your butt well he also kept whining about how they don't respect him they don't listen to him but demand it like you demanded well, then maybe that's what he was doing by that just drunk <laughs> yeah i don't know i, I think though you start i don't know like if someone interrupts my small council and tries to make a fool out of me like i would have them lacerated in the streets if i'm him you know like right. i would start small you know what i'm saying well it's his i brother, would change the culture it's his brother and i feel like he genuinely feels like his brother's a good like you know a good asset so maybe he just was like whatever about it i guess he underestimated the resentment that his right. brother had for him because mm -hmm. he's been giving it to him forever yeah 
I didn't realize how much that was going to matter. Right. He's probably just show. been holding on to that. You know, that day he lost his eye and he said he gained a dragon. Like he said, that probably fueled a lot of like, you know, he had a lot of resentment. And, you know, when he's I feel like when he's holding those coins and stuff, he has like this, like there's like some foreshadowing on that of some sort. Like there's maybe it was like an Aegon coin that he was holding and he's like yeah, ready to yeah, get maybe. it or so. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I have feelings about that. But where do we go from here? That's really the next question. I don't. Well, we got to get Damon out of. Uh, oh, Dr Heron Hall. Yeah, because Damon's in Heron Hall. He's haunted in Heron Hall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by a hairy lady. <laughs> and I don't know what's up with her. He's calling her a witch. Right. She's not disagreeing. So yeah. on, some, <laughs> on some level, maybe she is. <laughs> And he's having weird visions. I guess his conscience. Damon's in my mind. Damon's doing some soul searching right now. Right. You know, he's just taking a time. He out. might come back like the best character after this. Like he might. Right. He's probably like, dude, I'm so guilty of all these things because he showed Lena, showed young Rhaenyra. It showed all these things that maybe are like eh, about Damon's character. If it shows his daughters, then it's definitely about that. <laughs> well, maybe on some level he feels like it's all happening because he wasn't a good of a person as his brother was. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? I feel like it might just his whole entire universe might be collapsing in his mind because I don't know. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's really under a spell or if his conscience is so powerful that it's making him hallucinate. Well, whatever, really sure whatever it is, Eamon Maybe and Kristen Cole, haunted. right. Well, Eamon and Kristen Cole and Laris believe that Damon's just distracted. They're like, whatever. He, They're counting him out completely. Like, they were just like, whatever about him. So, whatever it is, they know it has a strong hold on him. Right. I think these these times, these kingless times are always the most interesting mm -hmm. in, in, in this series. I know one thing about this show. The next show we hop in immediately we're going to have a king. You yeah. know, they always do that. They don't wait. They don't all, they don't show you the back stuff. Um, it usually hops right into the secession of power or the transfer of power or whatever. And, and you say Amen, right? It's got to be Amen, right? Like, why would Amen do it? What if it's Helena as Queen Consort or Queen Dowager? Is that what you call it? I don't know. It's probably a very obvious answer on who it's supposed to be. And we're just... No, because the person's dead. No, and they never gave a successor. Well, I'm saying if we understood the rules of the the land a little bit better, we'd probably just know. You know what I mean? Like it would just make more sense to us. Right, but, but Joffrey didn't have a successor, and who took over after him? I'm just gonna go with Aemon, man, because that would be King Viserys' son. Yeah. So it would be Aemon, right? So it's gotta be Aemon, and plus Aemon's the one who killed him. So his whole thing was, I'm gonna kill my brother, and you know leapfrog that position of power so you know it's got to be him right, right. I, I mean i don't yeah, know yeah i don't know laris is getting on my nerves man he's always whispering around uh doing some whispery dispery it seems like allison isn't really caught on to the idea that laris isn't really working with her anymore right but She's laris isn't working party. with anyone anymore because Aegon's now dead well he's gonna be working with Aemon probably well not he's not right now but he, so. he might <laughs> he he hops well Aemon has the power right now and so does Kristen cole so he's obviously gonna go you know. I mean, I don't know, though, because if you think about it, why is Chris and Cole not in trouble? The, he, uh, the king died on his watch. You're the hand. You're out there doing all that. First of all, why is the hand even Man, in combat? If y'all are you know trying to saying? blame me, I'd be like, bro, I don't got it. I don't like I don't got a dragon. Like, what am I supposed to do? Tell him no. I'm out here fighting. That was their plan. I, do. I guess you shouldn't be leaving the king. huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but then again, I don't know. Like, but they a leave the king all the time. Aegon said Otto he wanted would. to rule the Iron Fist, though, with have a hand that's an Iron Fist. So. I mean, you can't protect the king from himself. You, uh, yeah. You, you know, you, at the end of the day, if Robert Baratheon wanted to go hunting, you couldn't tell him no, you know. And his bestie, you know, that was all like a problem because his besties were his like guardians. And they're like, whatever, bro, go fly the dragon, mm -hmm. whatever you say. And he went. Yeah. And no one was there to stop him. I just like the dragon fights, man. I thought that was cool. It was so cool seeing Vagar because he's like a he's like a big old seven forty seven. You know what I mean? He's just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like how they were uh, portraying that the smaller dragons were shiftier and swifter. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Vagar had brute strength, and once he gets his hands on you, you know what I mean. But I just don't get how that dragon got caught up so easy, though. Now mm -hmm. that I'm looking back, maybe Vagar should have had a harder time getting his clamps on him. It what Maylis? Awesome though, yeah. That. That was sad, y'all. Seeing Renice fall like that, oh my god! Yeah, the way they chose, that was heartbreaking. That's what I meant by the way they choose to portray it. Like, there's a movie, and I don't know. I, I watched a video a long time ago. It's like the best nuclear bomb explosions in cinema, or something like one of those Mojo top tens. Don't ask me why, right? And anyways, there was one where this old cowboy guy was like on a nuclear bomb, just like riding it down to the ground, 
And that's kind of what it reminded me of. That's the imagery I got. And it's a really famous movie. I just don't know what it is. A lot of you guys will probably know. I think it's like a black and white movie, though. Or maybe it was back when they only had like a smaller cone of color. You know what I mean? Oh, but um, okay. it was an older movie for sure. So that, that's what the way they the way they portrayed that was so sad and so dramatic and hurt. <laughs> that well, sucked. who's winning the battle now? Um, I mean, they just lost their king, so that's a big strike. But losing they their lost king, the dragon. We lost the dragon. Well, both teams lost the dragon. Black. Losing Aegon wasn't really a blow to them. No. It was almost, in a way, like a good thing. Got him out the way. Yeah, because he was very, you know, he was unpredictable. But I, you know what I was feeling a lot like was Aegon's there, right? And now that we're just back on this topic, I'm sorry to bring it up again. But they, like, from the beginning, they planned on having Aegon in control behind Allison's back. And so all of Aegon's stuff has been planned behind his back. So he hasn't really done essentially anything. He was a puppet. Right. You know what I mean? He was yeah. definitely a puppet. So for the shadows, they lose that, that puppet, be. but now they might have someone who actually opposes them and has opinions. And Aemon could well, be like, like that. Yeah. It seems like Aemon's doing that. Right. And that small council. And they seem very malleable to say the least. So, right. um, yeah, super interesting. The next episode I think is definitely going to be where it's at guys, because Action's awesome. Like we're all about the action, man. We love it, but ramification is where it's at, guys. It's all about ramification. So we really need to see what's gonna happen in the next episode. We have seven seven days, and we get to see basically how King's Landing reacts to this. I don't know how the common folk feel, but on some level, they they have to despise the family because well, that guy Hugh is gonna be upset because. Aegon offered him all this stuff. I, I was yeah, remember just yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. that episode. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, he offered him that stuff. So then what if the next person comes in and doesn't, and then the small folk rebel on that person? You right. know what I'm saying? Like it could go how do you lots of ways. I don't know how I don't really know how Allison is gonna react to this news because I might sound crazy to say, but how much does she really care about Aegon? Right. I mean, it's hard to know when, because even when, when they were babies, being, she was so right. disattached when he was being like when he was talking to her in that room and she was like going to ask for his feelings. She like rolled her eyes. She's like, oh, what is egg on? Like, he's yeah. such like a pest to her. It seems it's almost like she views those kids. In the way or something. Well, she didn't really love Viserys. Right. So they're basically little Viserys. So. But she did love Viserys, but it wasn't the 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 real type of love. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it wasn't it wasn't they loved each other, husband and wife, sure, but it wasn't all of it. It was just a piece of it. So maybe she only loves them like with a They piece. were out of duty, basically. Yeah, yeah. All of that was out of duty. All of that was to illegitimate. Well, she Rhaenyra. has to resent them, right? Like, right. Wouldn't you think? I don't know, man. Amazing episode. Thank you guys for hanging out, man. That was fun. That was intense. But oh, during the dragon fight, I'm sorry. Just to no, stop I you. love when you bring up all this stuff. Um, during the dragon fight, when she okay, so you know you saw you saw Aegon say Dracarys, but you saw him, um, her tell Melise to attack, and obviously that's the way to win a fight is by attacking. But Vagar at some point had to take some damage. So you're saying that it felt like, like you could like. It looked like Aegon was new to the dragon fighting, of course. And whereas yeah, Vagar and Melis are not, they attacked each other. But you did see him say Dracarys to the little dragon by. But you saw the other ones like actually fighting, like battling in the air, right. not Dracarysing each other, battling in the air. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So I don't know. That was just interesting. so Aegon didn't even have enough sense to know that you can't burn a dragon. Yeah. Right. So he yeah. was completely. It wasn't that he just. You like his little experience. baby dragon, really dumb. right? His little baby dragon wasn't about to take out no Melise. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was a sweet summer child to the to the dragon fight. Yeah, man, just completely never really read into the histories and understood the logistics. I guess he always just heard if you got a dragon, you have ultimate power. I mean, he spoke just, English you know, to it, so the dragon's probably like, I don't know what you're saying, me all. He's like, <laughs> Whatever you say, I don't speak that language. <laughs> He's like, what'd you say? Just do what's going to work. All right. <laughs> Hell, we're going to just do what we do. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, man. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week. We got a war. We got a war to win. So we I got, don't know where the show is going. We a lot of stuff but, to build off from that, this one. Well, the thing about this show that I've been wondering is, obviously, they're fighting. But how long does a show like this go on for? If you had to guess, how many seasons do you think a show like this would have? I, I would want, say maybe five. I want to say four. Four just don't feel right. Four? I like five. You know what I mean? Well, I like five, but I'm going to say four because I don't know. How how long do you dance with the dragons? For you generations? all night, baby. <laughs> um, 
You know, I feel like four would be a little short. I, I really do. Because I feel be. like this story is going by super fast. We're about two seasons in. So I can imagine two more of these. And then, unlike Game of Thrones, man, because I personally think that the Bells, the episode the Bells should have been a season finale. And I think there should have been a season. Maybe, I mean, maybe not. Maybe it shouldn't have been the season finale. But they ended it way too fast, basically. So I really hope this show takes its time in a way. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I don't want it to rush. Right. You know, I know. I mean, they do. Of- so they set it up kind of good, though. Right. Because they bring you through the generations, but then they they carry on with younger little tots that we don't know much about. Right. And there's also these characters that we also don't know much about, like like um, there's, for example, where Otto is. He they have a whole nother. He has a whole nother grandson that he's with who's Targaryen. So it's like. We'll meet these characters. Yeah, so it's like we have to meet them at some point. I guess I'm just saying I really, really like this show. I like the direction it's going. I like the complexity of it. And I just hope they take their time and just really do a good job uh, finishing it off. I know there's so many different spinoffs you could do from this universe, and I'm down to watch them all, but just take your time with them. Just doing. Yeah, the someone on Patreon said there's a, 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 a Meister Eamon one when he's younger, and then there's... Um, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and then there's going to be one and, and there's supposed to be like a young Walter Frey in it, like a toddler. And then someone also said that they're they were pitching like an egg on the Conqueror series. That's what they should do. Yeah, that, I, I think so I think too. they should start at the beginning. I think they should start with like the first men and all that. You oh, know, oh, I yeah. think they should. I, I mean, they, they could keep, way they could keep building on this Westeros. It's it's good to do. Why right. why not? Um, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I uh, will see you guys on the next one, man.